Hello and welcome. This is a scenario and Q&A video to supplement your ServiceNow ITBM training. We cover the question, what happens if an unplanned or unallocated resource logs time on a project? It's most appropriate for project managers, but could be useful for resource managers as well. The reason we'd worry about unplanned resources working our projects comes down to one thing, actuals. As project managers, we're in charge of managing scope, cost, and schedule almost all of which eventually boils down to cost. But as we explore the ServiceNow interface, you'll notice there are several places where the term actuals appear. If you open a resource plan, you'll see an actual hours field. If you open a cost plan, you'll see total actual cost. And if you drill into a cost plan breakdown, you'll see that there's a column that displays actuals. So seeing all these actuals in so many different places might lead you to say something like, when actually actualizing actuals, which actuals are actually the most actual actuals? So while there are many places in ServiceNow that talk about plan versus actual in different contexts, we see comparisons made most often in two places. First, the resource plan. When talking about resource plan versus actuals, we're discussing how good we are at planning the resource consumption of the project. This is about planning schedules or telling the story about why extra time was spent. Resource actuals are not cost actuals. So looking at actuals versus planned is really about seeing if our estimates were good from months ago. In cost planning, we're talking about how good we are at keeping costs close to the plan. Cost plans generated by resource plans tell us what we expect to pay for the planned resources. The cost plan actuals is obvious, obviously what we actually paid. So let's assume you care more about costs now than the accuracy of, of resource estimates from months ago. To that end, unplanned labor against a project matters more from a cost perspective than a resource planning perspective. ServiceNow brings this all together on the expense report. Time cards for unplanned or unallocated resource generate expense lines with no cost plan. Since the expense line can't find a resource plan for that user, it can't determine the cost plan, so it leaves it empty. If you associate that expense line to an existing cost plan, the expense line's total amount will be added to the cost plan's actuals, and it will do so when the state of the expense line switches to processed. So we know life happens. We know sometimes resources won't be properly allocated in niche situations where somebody steps in or specialized expertise is brought on site before we can allocate them to a resource plan. And in those cases, ServiceNow still generates cost and you make sure that those costs via the expense line go to the appropriate cost plan. And that way you make sure that your cost actuals are the most actual actuals.